Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your monthly reading. This reading is for the month of March 2019. Okay, so let's jump right in. Uh, first off the bat, this is a really, really interesting reading. And I truly suspect that while I know that there are some Geminis watching and that this may or may not resonate with your collective, I do feel that this is, it seems very, very much directed to cross watchers, okay, of a certain group of uh, Geminis. Uh, okay, so let's, um, yeah, I, I, Spirit is confirming that to me. This is showing me, if you're a cross-watcher, this is coming to you as a lesson in love, okay? A lesson in love, because I'm that, that, that song, I'll Never Love This Way Again, by um, Dionne Warwick is playing in my mind, okay? Um, if you're a Gemini, the question is, is this for your collective of Geminis? Because I get messages for Geminis, but... Um, why I communicate whatever message spirit brings through for that time period and they are the ones who choose which collective of Gemini's to write this to I mean sorry write this <laughs> to um uh, read this for okay so y'all your job is only to think about whether this is for you or not all right so let's move on so for the type of Gemini's that I'm reading for what I'm seeing is deception for the month of March okay cross watchers if this is for you take notes because this is a lesson in love for you spirit is saying all right so um I feel that this is kind of a continuation for the Geminis that I have been reading for in the past few weeks and in the past month remember uh, that set of Gemini that set of Geminis had extricated themselves from a relationship or an organization or some kind of group community group or partnership and the reason why is that for most of them they needed to go on and live their life to live out their shadows to experience it's almost like they were living this cookie cutter life and it just wasn't them and they were tired of it and they, it started to become too hard for them to live this fake cookie cutter life and so they had to just leave and go back to living the kind of life that is more in line with who they are at this time which is more of a shadowy life right i felt that for most of the people that I was reading for for the month most of the gem gems gems that's cute <laughs> most of, most of the gems that I've been reading for for the last month um left out of their own shadowy desire it's it wasn't that fate stepped in and destiny stepped in and said it's time you must go now the others await you okay it wasn't like that for a lot of these people and so those that group of Gemini's wanted to extricate themselves in as in as good a way as possible and I think they did a great job for, with how they did that now some of those Gemini's actually left in the way that they did whatever that way it was because they needed to go out and meet other people for the sake of contractual you know obligations right and in fact I do see contracts here but in this case the contracts here are almost like they've been made up because of this free will choice that a lot of the Gemini's that left have made okay so it doesn't mean that some of these contracts were in place already I'm getting that these are this is this is for the set of Gemini's who left because they couldn't control their shadows and they had to get out and experience all right so that being said that's the context let's jump right in all right so what I'm seeing is that our, our gems I'm gonna call them gems for this this reading because I like how it sounds but our gems who left now find themselves in new company in a new place not in a new company, in new company, in new surroundings, right? So look at this woman here. She's being directed. So what I'm seeing is that there are two things in here. Number one, um, the Gemini has found a new place, right? And they are starting to become a new person. See this face starting to move up onto that face? Uh, but also I feel that spirit has directed them to a new place because listen, by our free will choices, when we make a choice and we say, I'm leaving this, then our guides and our angels, you know, they give us new contracts to do. They direct us to new places for the sake of learning. So that's what I'm seeing. And she's the Gemini is this woman here. She's symbolizing, this woman is symbolizing her. And um, she is arriving in this, in this new place and, and receiving her, you know, her paperwork or so to speak. What I'm also seeing in this card is that spirit has 
um, they are actively right now collecting new contracts to be signed. When I say that, meaning pulling in the new people that you're going to meet, that this Gem that Gemini you're going to meet, that you're going to fall in love with, that you're going to have arguments with, you, whatever it is, they're pulling in new people and places and things to support this new free will choice that you've made. I see that you've also found a place. So Gemini, if you're listening, many of you are, have already found a new place to relocate to. All right, see this bird is coming into land here. That's the way it looks to me. They found a new place. So maybe you've moved already, you've got a new apartment, you're in another country, another city, uh, another job, whatever it is. And I see that contracts are being signed. I do see love. I'm seeing that for some of you, there may be a feeling of guilt, like just a lingering feeling of guilt, like, oh, is it is it okay to get into something new because I just like... I just said goodbye to that last person and, you know, is it too soon? But I feel that you're still going to do it anyway. And I see here that any love relationship that you get into at this time, Gemini, is going to be extremely temporary. As I'm seeing from this feather pen, don't ask me how. It's just, <laughs> don't ask me how. <laughs> it's just what energy um, superimposes itself as. <laughs> this pen shows me. <laughs> that you're very aware that it's going to be temporary, but you're going to sign it anyway. Because I feel that on some level, you don't want anything long-term right now. I think you want very, very temporary. Now, here's where the deception starts to re reel in. Well, actually, deception started reeling in the minute I saw this. Because what this told tells me is that, see these two faces? It looks like two faces to me. That you are actively creating a new identity as you leave and you go to this new place. So wherever you're going now, you are literally getting to a place where you are like, I'm going to be this person now. This, and some of you may even go as far as to um, start to wear different makeup, different styles of clothing, go by a different nickname. I mean, I see capital, capital deception here. Now for some of you, um, and this is probably cross watchers, these people that uh, it's, that these Gemini's I'm about to talk about right now are probably not watching this video. <laughs> so, so for some Gemini's that this uh, reading resonates with, and some of whom may not even be watching this video, I feel that they're decept, they're like con men, decepting, deceptive as in the sense of con men. So I see some people really, really, really like um, faking names, all sorts of stuff, just donning fake personas and fake identities. I see a lot of intention here for the sake of deception. Okay. Sometimes we just, it's just the other person picking up on you being somebody different from who you are. Could be you being confused, but I'm not seeing that here. I'm seeing very intent, it very intended, um, deception. Let's take a look at this person. Ta-da. Oh, I'm sorry. Before I do that, what I'm saying, seeing is that um, if there are any love relationships that this Gemini um, gets into, they're going to be misrepresenting themselves from the very beginning of it. So I'm sorry to say that. So if you're cross-watching and you're like, Ugh. and if you're a Gemini watching, you're like, that's not me. Number one, it could be you and you don't realize. <laughs> and number two, it just isn't you. Maybe you're just not, this reading isn't to resonate for you. That that would mean that this this reading is a, is for another collective within the Gemini community, okay? But you can still listen because, you know, God bless, right? But anyway, um, so let's take a look at this person. This is the Gemini that I'm seeing. They're, this represents the Gemini where they are, like, see this lady? She's about to smell these flowers, but actually that's not what it looks like to me. What it looks like is it's a mask. She's about to put it onto her face and completely change the way she is and who she is. And once she has changed her appearance and her persona, she's going to go out into the world in this new place that she is, and she's going to... Per, um, she's going to um, present herself to the world as this person. That, my dears, is a very um, meaning of deception and misrepresentation. See this person? Oh, nobody sees it now. Hold on. <laughs> All right, see this person at the top who's receiving this bird? Okay, can you? Yes, there we go. Um, that shows me that she's going to be misrepresenting herself to that person. So that, that, that bird is carrying the new contract that spirit is setting, has sent out, right? So remember, Gemini made a free will decision to leave the life that they were just living so that they can go out and be who they really want to be right now. Notice I didn't say be who they really are because who we really are is bigger and brighter than we could ever imagine. But who we are being 
is a result of a combination of a lot of factors. So this person is choosing to be a certain way and they left their life so that they can go and, and live that way. And because of that free will choice, spirit is constructing their new life, you know, setting up the people they're going to meet, you know, workplaces, all sorts of stuff. And this here in the card on the right shows that the person that Gemini you're going to be meeting up with soon or inevitably is currently at this time receiving that contract. Now, what does that mean? Even if you don't meet this person for another month or three months, it doesn't mean that this person hasn't received notification of this contract on an energetic level. They they most likely are re receiving it right now and they'll start to prepare for the meeting, for example, if they're if the contract speculates speculates spec specifies sorry <laughs> if the contract specifies that you guys are to meet at for example a baseball game or a hockey game or just whatever um maybe this other person has absolutely no interest in hockey or baseball or whatever but one of their friends ends up getting a ticket to go and they're super excited come the day of the game they can't make it they give it to your give it to their friend and that person ends up going instead of them and you end up sitting right next to them and you guys meet and it's one of those kinds of things okay so i'm seeing that yeah there's um an intention to misrepresent the self now, take a look at this card. This is the Gemini here. Notice the egg and the staff, they both have snakes on them. So this shows me that everything surrounding this Gemini is not to be believed. Complete misrepresentation. Why do I keep almost dropping these cards? Okay, this is the second time. Um, so um, anyway, so again, Gemini, if you're watching and you're like, that's not me, then please know that... Uh, it's just a message for another set of Geminis. And if you're cross-watching and this resonates with you, then please do take it seriously, okay? Um, because then the message is partly for you. So long story short, this shows that this uh, Gemini is walking with the stick, with deception. They're not walking with the highest of intentions. In fact, the intention is to misrepresent. Again, as we saw in this person donning another face, this person donning another face, um, contracts being placed in into um, existence, uh, them choosing a place to start working in, uh, this contract here for love, no intention of staying around or or you know it's all in it's like in every card that we've seen and so they're going to be uh they're going to be stumbling upon that egg see that egg that is going to that represents their actions or whatever impact they're going to be having whatever energy they move forward with to represent themselves with imagine inside of that egg is a whole new persona coming with a whole bunch of stories about themselves background story whatnot um I'm picking up for some of you, or maybe one of you, God knows, right? <laughs> Literally, God knows. But I'm picking up that uh, this this Gemini may be in one of your lives as a contractor, as a construction or person or general contractor. And I feel that this person is a con artist, okay? Um, they are not working with your best interest in heart. So if, you, if that resonates with you, uh, please consider that. All right. I think that's uh, what spirit is showing me now is that for some of you, being able to see through this person may be easier than you think. For some of you, it may not be so easy, but for some of you, you're seeing cracks in the foundation of this person. Oops, sorry, excuse me. You're seeing cracks in the foundation of this person as they're representing themselves to you. And I think that you may be having a hard time convincing the other people in your life. So for example, if you and your husband or you and your wife are getting work done and you have a contractor who is doing, you know, contracting to build your house and you haven't signed paperwork yet, but you're looking around, you guys are, you know, in talks and you're like seeing some cracks in this foundation. You're trying to tell your spouse about it and your spouse isn't isn't buying it there. It's like a hard sell for them. Right. So I'm seeing that. But I'm seeing that for a lot of you. This um, just a little common sense, a little bit, um, a little bit more than common sense. You have to look a little deeper. You'll start to see the threads in this person's uh, persona, so to speak. So just be mindful of that. That's what spirit's saying because this this egg shows me this persona is all hatched. It's all intention. So that's why I'm saying I feel like people tuning into this this video would most likely be cross watchers than the Gemini because I just don't know if somebody who has this desire to do this would be interested in looking at these videos 
but you know god is good and and that's just the way it is so we will see what i'm seeing here is um again this is almost like a commitment card but what i'm seeing is this person is committing to being dishonest that's where their intention is there's a commitment that they have to fulfilling this desire to be dishonest and why because they get a kick out of it they get a kick out of it so a lot of con artists get a kick out of being con artists that's just it it's you know and sometimes when i get readings that are like this where i'm just like oh my god this is so negative you people are going to be turned off like i just did one for scorpios and and like it was such a huge video i got so many emails and people are like oh my god that's true this so this is for somebody out there and so i really feel that i'm dealing with i'm de not me but <laughs> i really feel that uh you're dealing with a con artist okay yeah anyway let's continue this card, again, has sh this showed up in a Gemini reading weeks ago, a little bit ago. And um, in that reading, the idea was this person, this is the guard, the, the guide, spirit guide on the side. This person was being warned to be, um, what's the word, uh, authentic in, 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 their, in, in their integrity when they extricated themselves from the relationships that they were in. Um, because one, two, three, four, these show the negative aspects of their behavior and these show the positives. So what I'm beginning in this card, in this reading, is that this person is very intentionally etching these marks into here. And their guides have already spoken to them. They've already warned them that, you know, energetic levels, all sorts of stuff. And this person is still resolved to do the things that they're doing, which are not in the light, right? Here, I'm picking up that um, this Gemini is just bored. They were bored with their life and they want to go out. They want to they wanna just have fun. And I'm seeing this small smile on this person's face saying that I can be anything I want. I can go out there and I can assume any identity I want. I can do anything I want with the right identity, right? And so it's like they really feel that they can get away with it. That's, that's what I'm feeling. And I'm also feeling on their energetic, in their energetic field that there's this feeling like I'm tired of being the good guy. I'm tired of being the gentleman, tired of being the community dad or just whatever, whatever this persona was that they were living in this cookie cutter life before. They're tired of it and they're going to cut it. They're cutting that crown. Now, again, the last few readings for Gemini, again, were showing Geminis who were leaving, right? A, a situation to pursue their life. Now, of that group of Geminis that I had been reading for, doesn't mean all of those Geminis resonate with this because all of those Geminis are not con artists, you know, but some of them are. And whether or not you, you would consider yourself a con artist, the behavior is likened, can be likened to one. Let's move on. What I'm seeing in this card here is that, again, this person has um, arrived in their new place and the feeling's like, ah, look at this new place. I can be anything here. And they've already donned their new persona. They are, you know, ready to spin the yarns. This is the this is them spinning yarns. Anything that they can come up with, see this little mouse? Any story they can come up with, they can make it. And that's them making it, right? They can forge it, they can make it, they can be it. And they're gonna take whatever it is that they've constructed and they're going to go out and to present that information as that. But it's weird because I feel that they're actually more of a novice than they think they are. So take a look. This is a page of wands. It's a page. A page is somebody who's a novice at what they do. But I'm seeing this novice, this novice aspect. Where's the card? Over here again. Remember I said that um, they're, they're presenting themselves in one way, but if you look closely, see that little blue there? If you look closely, you can see the threads in their storyline, their narrative, their clothes, so to speak. And I see that this is that they're out there and they're they're making these up these stories up and they're lying just flat out lying and misrepresenting themselves and getting into relationships temporarily knowing it's going to be temporary for the experience of it they want to experience what is it like to be a bad boy with a church girl what is it like to be um 
a, 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 a man with a single mom and three kids, you know, like, like dating a single mom with three kids, they want to feel that and there's a sense of power that comes from being able to misrepresent themselves and to dupe people in that way. And I feel that they're more of a novice than they think they are, they, they really are. So they think they're getting away with stuff. Um, but um, hold on a sec, I want to make sure I get this card right. Hold on, what did I write down for this? Okay. Okay, um ba 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 ba. Hold on, hold on. Okay, anyway. So yeah, so I see that they're actively taking whatever it is they have to try and create, whoops, there it is, this, this, um, this persona for themselves. But you know what, they're coming, what I'm seeing is they're not as successful as they think they are. They really, really aren't. Let's take a look at this card. In this card, this is them at the bottom here, on the bottom left, having this conversation with this other person that they just met, right, in their new community. Now... I, what I'm seeing in this card is the person, the Gemini at the bottom left, is having this conversation about his backstory, talking about himself, the things he's interested in. All It's all bullshit, you know, I've got to be honest. It really is. And um, what I'm seeing is that this person is coming across as more mature, not in age, but just more mature. They've been around the block. They're more experienced. And they could see right through the lies. It's like, oh, yeah, really? You went to the Juilliard school? Oh, really? What'd you? Oh, wow. Yeah, I've always wanted to play... I've always wanted to be a vocalist, you know, but you got to sing with, with uh, Shakira. Wow, that's cool. What's she like? You know, they're like, they're rolling with the story, but they could tell that this person is re is resonating with the lower and more immature vibration. The vibration feels like a kid in a candy store, like this. A kid who's alone. They're alone. And they feel that just because they change location, that they can change everything. That they can lie, they can be whoever they want, and no one would ever know because guess what? No one knows me, and if I don't tell them who I am, they'll never know. But they fail to realize that people who are experienced and who have lived life and they, they've met in, in authenticity in many ways and iterations, they could see right through that. And this person is wise and mature enough to just roll with it but they're not going to get caught up caught up in that they're just going to see it honestly as another person who they encounter in life who needs help <laughs> and they don't realize that now take a look at this fire look at the and this is a yurt right but look in the background there's another yurt with the fire there's another yurt with the fire i believe that those yurts represent the different people who are receiving contracts um, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is so good. They're saying, yeah, they're receiving these contracts from Spirit. And with those contracts, which are going to, you know, have the, de the information about when and where they meet, this Gemini, comes the warning. The warning, okay? The warning that you're probably going to meet a liar. Um, hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Janelle. Um, <laughs> could this be the warning for some of you? I don't know. <laughs> but there's a warning, okay? So some of you might meet this person in the month of in the month of March. I'm not saying to go around and say, are you a Gemini? Are you a Gemini? Are you a Gemini? Are you a Gemini? All you need to do is to think about this kind of behavior. Is it you? Are you exhibiting that? Or are you going to meet somebody with that um, behavior, whether or not there's any Gemini involved. I feel like if you're watching this video and it resonates with you, then the message is for you on some level, right? So um, all these people are going to be receiving their warnings and a lot of them will end up being like this guy. Like, dude, I knew I was going to meet you. Uh, bypass, next, bye Felicia, right? But I feel that some of them, some people are actually not going to be able to receive that that warning and if they do I mean they'll receive it on the energetic level we always receive our warnings but on the conscious level they're probably going to talk themselves out of listening because this Gemini is going to be too um you know too hot to resist too interesting to whatever and they're going to have to learn a spiritual lesson through it right look at this horse this horse is being ridden by this Gemini this fully fake person and the horse looks a little sad because now they're caught up in the reins of this person and they have to just work through that lesson that's there. Okay, so again, I feel 
that for this person, this Gemini or this whatever, they're they're truly conning. They're conning people. And it's like sleight of hand, right? Look into my eyes and don't look at what's going on here, right? But your job, if you come into contact with this person, watcher, your job is to look for the into information. Use your intuition. You've been warned. You watched this video. And chances are you're going to be warned in other ways as well. You're going to watch a show that's going to have the same dynamic that you're going through. It's going to resonate. You're going to hear something, whatever. Um, but this person is playing. This person is playing and it's not to be believed. And I believe that they are, they have no intention of... of creating any foundation for some of you who are cross watching and you are this person in this love relationship with this person there's no intention of creating a foundation for that person watching with the contracting work there's no there's no intention of creating a foundation for the home okay if you're contracting you need a foundation before you do anything else there's no that house isn't going to be built their money is going to go the person's gonna go like that's what I mean like this is this card is the happy home life card boom there's no home life so it's it's vacuous and at the end of the day take a look at this this shows this is the creation under the moon of illusions this is the creation that this Gemini or this person has created now, if you are a Gemini and you're watching this, and this doesn't sound like you, but it sounds the pers like the person you're involved with, take that as well, okay? It, the whole point is if you're watching this video and you are resonating with this in some way, then this message is for you. So please know that the person that is conning is coming in as this conning weasel and from the beginning till the end, that's just who they are at this time, okay? And for a lot of you, what I'm seeing here is that this person is starting a new identity now. And they're arriving in a new place now. So if you have just met this person or you will have met this person, it's important. You can pause or, or they just started this business or whatever. You can talk to them. And the first thing that you should wonder is like, well, how long have you been here? That could be another bullshit lie, though. But, you know, the truth is that they just kind of got on the scene and they're just choosing a new identity. This is new. This is new stuff. I don't see that this person has been this persona for a while, okay? All right. Okay, so um I'm going to end it here and sorry if it's not like um good news that some of you ha are hoping to receive, but you know it's always good to get a warning beforehand. And if this is you and your behavior, please be mindful that what you do does create karmic um uh, you know, karmic, what's the word? I get re karmic repercussions. But either way, you guys know where to find me. If you want a personal reading, uh, reach out. I'm in the box below. And either way, I'll be uploading uh, the next weekly reading for gems. Now, I don't know if that weekly reading is going to resonate with this collective of Geminis or just whatever, because I literally just receive what spirit gives me and they set up who's to watch the videos so um either way i love 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 you and i hope you have a great week okay bye oh great month <laughs> bye